Salamat din nga abo. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Day two. Day two and it's 6 a.m. 6 a.m. We're, we're up at, we're, uh, we're up around, what, 5 a.m.? Yeah. So we're at Fairways Blue Water here in Barakai. And we're up really early because breakfast is served. So normally breakfast would be served on like the terrace or just overlooking the beach. But unfortunately, like I explained in my last video, on Christmas Day 2019, Typhoon Ursula ravished the southern Philippines. That typhoon like knocked out everything. Like over here, like this used to be lush green fairway. Over here, there used to be palm trees. You can see all the trees broken down. This balcony apparently was up there before. Yeah. Damn. Insane. That typhoon is killer. Look at that one. This tree just knocked right out. Like trees are uprooted. Sad. Arescaldo. This is the this is the bomb. Not used to this. I don't know how to act, don't know how to adapt to this situation. Not used to this, no I'm not I better let myself Give in to love, believe in us No matter what it does to my heart Not used to this, no I'm not It was like if we were to waste These moments The light poets to me Got my Tonka sunglasses on 7am Enjoying the heat And Nash said it's 7am There you go, here's Nash it's crazy, a lot got destroyed in this, uh, yeah. in this uh, storm. So we've decided to stay on the resort for a bit. So what's nice is that there's a shuttle that'll take you anywhere on this resort. Gorgeous. Wow. Private beach. So we've decided to go to Barakai's beachfront to grab some lunch. To get there, you do need to use public transit, so it's either these tricycles or the e-trikes. There are shuttles, but they do take a little bit longer, and there aren't too many cars out here. Being on the back of a tricycle is pretty sketch, but I always wonder, this looks so dangerous, what would it be like to be on the back of one of these? The power is out everywhere. This is the mall here in Baraka. One of them. So yesterday we traveled outside of our resort just to grab some essentials. Hailing your own personal tricycle is a bit pricey. We tried bartering, but to no avail. So the next best thing? <laughs> That's right, we hitched a ride on the back of this dude's little motorcycle. It's called Ankas. Crazy. Anyway, back to our original story. So that tricycle driver that we were just uh, riding with, he was honest. We gave him uh, 100 pesos and he gave us change. So, dope. I love this. I love this. 
people the smells. For all that so right after lunch, we received a phone call, so we headed back to the resort. It was an urgent phone call. So we rushed back as quick as we could, got dressed up, and came back. So the first place I stopped when I got to the Philippines was Frutas. This place is the bomb, so we had to stop here again. What flavor is that? Original Grupo so the reason why we're back at the beachfront is because we're here to actually surprise Nash's parents. They don't know that we came to the Philippines. At this point, we're just hanging out. So this cafe here called Real Coffee is probably one of the most iconic places here in Boracay. Not only is the owner of this place a legend here in Boracay, but this place has also stood the test of time with regard to the island rehabilitation. One of the original Boracay stores still standing. We tried these calamansi uh, muffins and they are amazing. And this is her here. This is really cool. Really cool story. I encourage you guys to take a look at her story on YouTube somewhere. <laughs> we just found out that someone uh, saw Nash and busted mm -hmm. us. Yeah. And said that we uh, we are here. So. <laughs> We're gonna see them later tonight, and dang it. <laughs> it was about at this time frame that we got busted. One of Nash's friends, or someone that knew her from her neighborhood, pretty much called her parents and said, hey, Nash is here with her husband. Nash's mom said, how do you know Nash's husband? So they responded with the dude with a ton of tattoos. Yeah. Nash and I have been out here for a few hours, so we're killing time playing who can spot her parents first. Guess I lost. Again. So apparently it wasn't Nash that got found out. It was me. I got busted because they said that I had a lot of tattoos. The last time we were all together was at our wedding. <laughs> Hello. So what I thought was just going to be a regular dinner turned out to be a whole lot more. Dinner and a show. So yeah, that was pretty cool. And then things got a little involved. I'm not one for family photos, but I'm <laughs> just kidding. This one's gonna be cool. It's crazy. Yeah. Involved. So Nash brought me here to the Philippines to bring me to the Ati Atihan Festival. That festival is not until a few weeks from now actually. But in this province, every region has their own version of a Tia I don't know what that is, but it sounds like what's gonna happen in Kalibo in like two weeks, three weeks? Three weeks. 
Third Sunday of the month. Ay, praise na silang narinig! Na... So this is the first time I've ever experienced this. It's kind of cool. Daddy, dito kami kumakain sa labas sa Jerry's Gill. Jerry's Gill. So this is just a taste of what's to come. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and then click that bell icon for more notifications. Thank you for watching another Net and Tho episode, only here on Tequila Creative. We'll catch you guys on the next one.